Hey, welcome back to Magic Stringworks. Hope you enjoy the video. I thought it would be interesting to talk about some of the tools and things that I use to help me repair and service guitars. So here's the bench vise that we're going to talk about today. So I picked this up from Lee Valley a couple of years ago. You can also get one from Stumac in the US. Very similar, colors different, the handle's a little different. So it comes in a few pieces. It's heavy duty, weighs about 30, 35 pounds. Simple to install. I just drilled a hole in my bench to match the size of that threaded bolt. Put the base down and lift up the vise. Slide the bolt in. You have to make sure you locate this so that the handle is off the bench, right? <laughs> so you don't bash your knuckles against it. So then we're going to put that big butterfly washer under there. Oh, maybe I should switch the video. <laughs> Here's a underbench view. Get it on there and just spin it on. You can tighten this right up so it doesn't move, or you can loosen it off just a touch, and that'll let you spin the vice around 360 degrees. Yeah, pretty simple installation. So the vice has nice swiveling jaws polyurethane pads on them, anti-marring, and you know they swivel around 360 degrees. You can tighten them right up if you want, but they wouldn't be very useful. So you just open up the vise, place the piece in there, and tighten it up. So it automatically adapts to whatever piece you put in, size, width, etc. Works really well. That's just a piece of flat stock, obviously. It's an MDF. Take a bigger, heavier piece, of course. I believe the jaws will open up about eight inches. Eight, nine inches. So where it really shines, of course, for guitar making is I can clamp things that have tapers, right? So what has a taper on a guitar? A neck. So you can put the neck in here. I'm just showing you on this piece of scrap wood here. So the jaws will adjust to the angle of the taper automatically. You don't have to fiddle with them, do anything. They just clamp right on. Of course, with those polyurethane faces, nothing gets damaged or marred. So it's actually quite perfect. Uh, for guitars. There you can see it. There we go. Nice. So I like to put these two uh, rags, cloths down, and I'll show you why later, but you can probably guess why. So just to show you how strong this is, here's a five string bass, jazz bass, and I'll just clamp on the neck. There you go. She's held up, sturdy, and you can work on it just like that if you want. So basically it's another set of hands for you. And you can set things up in multiple positions. Now that was my five-string bass at my shop. Here's a Strat, Strat-style guitar. It's a Fender guitar, and same thing. Adjust to the neck automatically. Holds it up no problem. 
easy to set up, easy to use. So I actually made this uh, support table, I guess, this editorial table, based on a Stumac, Stumac design. I don't think they sell it anymore, but uh, based on their design, I added a few things. A little support foot at the end. And that sliding support as well. So now I've mounted it. So you just mount it on the base, put the bolt through. Now I can spin this around. I can hang it off the edge of the table. And I can slide my support bracket in and out. And those are just a couple of uh, foam tiles. You know, I've cut up those pieces. So I'll grab that five string base again. And you see it just sits nicely on the support. Tighten the vise around the neck. And there you go. So you've got a nice platform to work on. It's stable, it's sturdy. You can slide it out. You can work on it from one side or the other. And that's how I've got it installed on my bench. You can make a stand for it. You can do like I've done here. It's up to you. I thought it was pretty useful putting that little bracket on. So that's if you have the guitar in a flat position. So here you can put it at an angle if you like. It's easier to work at something. Again, it's very versatile. And this is the position that I think is uh, one of the best. <laughs> put it in guitar on its side like that. How many times have you tried to hold the guitar up while you're trying to get to the output jack? Or maybe the guitar strap? You know, it's uh, a lot easier this way than trying to do it on your bench. Again, there's lots of ways you can position a guitar, so... Well, I'll put that pad back. And I'll just put it face down into the clamp. Let's put the taller support up so we get it flat. There we go. So again, put it flat down, clamp the neck, and now you can work on the back. Take off those covers, change the battery, unscrew the neck plate, whatever it is, finish work. Nice stable platform. Again, it's like having a third set of hands there, second set of hands. You know, here, headstock, nice to work on the tuning machines, get the drill holes, fill holes. It's just a little easier to work on. We'll put the strat back in. Again, the adjustable support, I can move it back and forth depending on the size of the instrument. I haven't had one that's too big or too small yet, so this fits all sizes. I can work on pick guard, take the pick guard off, multitude of things in this position. So earlier we had put those two cloths down. I'll show you why. So if for some reason you weren't paying attention and you were loosened off the vise and boom, the neck would go down, right? Well, you'd get a nasty bump on the back of your uh, guitar neck. So you put those there and nothing happens. They stay there all the time. So thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you on the next video. Take care and bye for now.